Okay, next we will talk about the ADL and GOS model, which is stand for the auto regressive distributed lag model and the general stylist square model. So this is the original ADL model. Yt is equal to beta zero plus beta one xt plus beta two xt minus one plus ut. While well, here we assume that the error term suffer from the autocorrelation problem. So ut is equal to some va pass value of ut minus one plus the u tilde t. So the this v one is the auto regressive parameter so it should be not equal to zero and absolute value is less than one then ut tilde is the serially uncorrelated term okay so if the error term is serially correlated we cannot use the traditional OLS because the error term will not be the homoscedasticity and you need to use the HAC standard error but if you don't want to use the HAC standard error what can you do? you can use the ADL model or GOS model to estimate the beta 1 okay so how to do it? well now you know that UT tutor is not the serially correlated terms so you need, you need to change every U to, the, to, the, to be the U tutor Okay, so first I will do, I will lag 1 to yt and it become beta 0 plus beta 1 xt minus 1 plus beta 2 xt minus 2 plus ut minus 1. Okay, then I do the yt minus y phi 1 yt minus 1. Okay, then I get beta 0 plus beta 1 xt plus beta 2 xt minus 1 plus ut then minus phi times beta 0 plus beta 1 xt minus 1 plus beta 2 xt minus 2 plus ut minus 1 then I will get beta 0 plus beta 1 xt plus beta 2 xt minus 1 minus phi 1 beta 0 minus phi 1 beta 1 xt minus 1 minus phi 1 beta 2 xt minus 2 plus u tilde t okay then by collecting the terms I will get alpha 0 plus phi 1 yt minus 1 I put the phi y t minus 1 to the right hand side then plus delta 0 x t plus delta 1 x t minus 1 plus delta 2 x t minus 2 plus u t tilde I just group all the x t minus 1 and x t minus 2 and change the variable to be delta okay then you can estimate this term such that the u tilde now is not serially correlated So here, yt tilde equal to yt minus v1 yt minus 1, we call this quasi difference. Because this is not a true difference, we need, you need to minus the v times the pass value. Okay, so actually you can rewrite the, your population regression model to be y tilde equal to alpha 0 plus beta 1 xt tilde plus beta 2 xt minus 1 tilde plus ut tilde okay so if you want to use OLS to estimate the effects you need to make some assumptions the assumption is eut tilde here given all the independent variables that is xt tilde xt minus 1 tilde dot 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 up to 0 so here okay so this is exactly equal to eut given xt and xt minus 1 up to infinity minus phi 1 expected value of ut minus 1 given xt xt minus 1 up to the infinity equal to 0 okay so here we assume the phi 1 is some 
constant terms. Therefore, to make this to be true, the expected value of ut given all the x value should be equal to zero, and expected value of ut minus one given the xt xt minus one equal to zero. Then here you can see that pass u is has no relation between the present x. Therefore, eut given xt plus one xt xt minus one up to infinity is equal to zero. So this is the assumptions. If you want to estimate this, what you are doing is. y t hat equal to phi 1 hat y t minus 1 plus delta 0 hat x t plus delta 1 hat x t minus 1 plus delta 2 hat x t minus 2 okay so here you can ignore the alpha 0 because after the difference you minus the lag this constant term will be equal to 0 Okay, so to, to estimate the effects of deltas, so what you should do is first lag, lag the whole equation by 1. Okay, then you replace the value of y to here. Then you will get Okay, then you then you can call that the term. Delta two hat times phi one hat delta one hat x t minus two plus phi one hat delta two hat x two minus two plus phi 1 has squared y t minus 2 so here you again see the y t minus 2 term then you again lag the y t plus 1 by less less the y t minus 1 by 1 then you substitute the new value to the y t minus 2 then you will produce another term called y t minus 3 so you will keep it the same the same process after that you will get y t has is equal to delta 0 hat x t plus delta 1 hat plus phi 1 hat delta 0 hat times x t minus 1 plus delta 2 hat plus phi 1 hat delta 1 hat plus v 1 square hat times delta 0 hat times x t minus 2 plus phi 1 hat times delta 2 hat plus delta phi 1 hat times delta 1 hat plus phi 1 square hat times delta 0 hat times x t minus 3 still plus v1 square hat times delta 2 hat plus v1 hat delta 1 hat plus v1 square hat delta 0 hat times x t minus 4 plus at the end okay so you can see that after the first term all the coefficient of x t minus 2 x t minus 3 x t minus 4 are the same so this is how you can estimate the uh, dynamic multiplier of the yt okay so you can use this method to estimate the multiplier the other method is using the GLS model the general standard least square model so you have two GLS model one is called invisible GLS this is called invisible because here we assume phi 1 is known but in fact this is not so this is not feasible so if phi 1 is known 
you can calculate xt head, uh, xt tutor, yt tutor directly. Then you can compute the alpha zero, beta one, and beta two by the OLS easily. Okay, so in GLS, it assumes the fee one is known, then you can compute it easily. Apart from the feasible GLS, we also have the feasible GLS, uh, apart from the invisible GLS. So here, we assume V1 is unknown, but we can estimate by the V1 hat. Okay, so in this case, you can calculate everything by using the estimated theta, estimated V to estimate the XT tutor, YT tutor. Okay. Then you can also calculate the UT tutor by your original OLS, OLS model. You can estimate the UT by the residual then plug in the value of theta of phi then you can calculate the utilitarian terms